Now we're going to talk about electric current. Current is the flow of charge, and we typically imagine charge flowing through a wire, electrons moving through a wire. That movement of charge is electric current. Now it could be any movement of charge. You could have a lightning bolt, for example. That's charge moving from the cloud to the ground, and that's current. Anytime you have electric charge moving, that's current. But we typically have electrons moving through a wire. That's the most common situation in any electrical device or the electrical wiring in your house or in the power grid that stretches across the nation there's electrons moving through the wires and we can quantify the current we can put a number on it by thinking about how much charge passes a given point in a given amount of time so you think about how much charge per second for example that tells you the current now the symbol for current is a capital I that's the letter we use in our equations. When we, we use a variable for current, we use the letter I. And that seems like an unusual choice for current. But that goes back to um, Andre Ampere, who did a lot of the early work with electricity. And um, he used the, the letter I for the intensity of the flow. He was thinking about the intensity, so how much of it there is. And the letter I stuck. We've used I for current ever since then. And here's the equation. I is equal to Q over T. Now Q, remember, is the charge. And that's in coulombs. And T is the time, obviously. And that's in seconds. So how many coulombs of charge pass a point each second? That's the current. And one coulomb per second, if one coulomb of charge passes a point in one second, then we say that the current in the wire is one amp. So let's write that one amp is equal to one coulomb per second. And amp is just short for ampere. And that's named, obviously, after Andre Ampere. Here's a picture of ampere. He was a French scientist in the late 1700s, early 1800s, and, and really, really brilliant guy. Studied a lot of things, physics, philosophy, languages, lo uh, chemistry, lots of different things. Um, all of these ancient thinkers who are famous, who persist in our textbooks today, were just brilliant people. And he was one of them, and he did a lot of really foundational work in uh, electricity and magnetism. But this is, this is our equation. I is Q over T, and the current is measured in amps, and that's what an amp is, is one coulomb of charge per second. Now let's do an example problem that demonstrates this. A current of 2.5 amps flows through a wire for four minutes. How much charge passes through the wire? Well, here's our equation. I is equal to Q over T, and in this case we're given the current is 2.5 amps. That's I right there. And we're given four minutes. That's the time right there. And we're trying to find how much charge. So we're looking for Q. So let's solve this for Q. We just rearrange it algebraically. We get Q equals IT. And let's put in the numbers. I is the current. That's 2.5 amps times the time, which is four minutes. Now, what's an amp times a minute? Instead of thinking of it that way, let's rewrite it like this. 2.5 coulombs per second, because 1 amp is 1 coulomb per second. And we'll multiply that by 4 minutes, but instead of 4 minutes, I'll write 240 seconds, because that's what 4 minutes is. It's 240 seconds. And now you can see the seconds here cancel, and we're left with 2.5 times 240 coulombs. And that comes out to 600 coulombs for our answer. And coulombs, of course, is the unit of measure for charge, which is what we would expect.